Well, with the lockdown in London, I expect to be making a few less videos uh, going forward until it uh, lifts. Uh, but just before this latest one kicked in, I did manage to speak this young man uh, in a Charlton Park. Again, he was a, he was a Muslim uh, young man. Um, he was very young. I think he was a teenager. Um, obviously, there were other things on his mind other than uh, religion. So uh, other than asking him a few questions, I didn't really end up pressuring him. Um, I think he looks like he's got a lot of thinking um, ahead of him as he as he grows up and matures. So uh, I didn't end up uh, really pushing him on any particular point. But um, but the good news and the good uh, the good experience of this conversation was, as you will see, is that uh, he was quite open. Um, he was quite open to um, other ideas, other thoughts. Even though it looks like he grew up in a in a in a Muslim in an Islamic uh, household, he was aware of other ideas, other thoughts. He had Christian friends that he was hanging out with, um, other teenagers. And uh, more than anything, he was aware of some of the uh, controversy uh, recently uh, that came up in the in the whole sort of uh, apologetics world, especially between the Muslim apologetics people like uh, Muhammad Hijab, uh, Ali Dawa, and Yasser Qadi on one side, and the Christian apologetics um, and uh, polemicists such as Jay Smith uh, from Founder Ministries, uh, DCCI Ministries, uh, Hatun Tash there. Uh, David Wood from Acts 17 Apologetics, um, Colin from Islam uh, Critiqued, and, and many, many others. And the, the controversy was uh, over basically the narrative that we've been hearing for many, many years now about um, the preservation of Quran and how there's only one Quran, only one version of Quran that has been given by Allah. And and they, Muslims have now started uh, to, to admit basically that uh, that narrative, um, in their own words, has holes in it and um, this has started to sort of shake uh, shake the, the, the whole world of apologetics the whole uh, world of, of, of their uh, understanding and a lot of young Muslims especially um, having heard this and, and obviously having been exposed to uh, other ideas um, uh, and philosophies are, are leaving leaving Islam in droves uh, and uh, and I think this young man as well is probably thinking uh, and considering these things as, as you will see uh, by his own words. He's aware uh, of what's happening, uh, he's listening, he's wat watching and so uh, again my prayer will be that he continues to, um, to listen, to watch, to understand, to have his eyes open and, and ultimately uh, to, to give serious thought to the claims of Christianity uh, which are built on solid foundations, much more solid uh, than the claims of Islam, uh, that he would turn to, to Jesus as his Lord and Savior. So, uh, have a look. Do you have a faith? Do you have religion? And you said to me already that you are a Muslim, yeah? Were you born into a Muslim family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. And um, uh, would you describe yourself as a devoted, uh, like a serious Muslim? Yeah, I'm serious Muslim. Yeah, do you pray, pray five, five times per day? I pray five times a day. Yeah. yeah okay, okay. Uh, I don't know how old you seem. Pretty, pretty young. But have you? Yeah, I, mean, I just look. Uh, I just have a small group of body. Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty young. Yeah. yeah. And have you, you know, and are you kind of coming to the age of sort of uh, questioning things maybe? Have you ever questioned your faith? Yeah, sometimes it's revenge. Yeah. And what sort of in those days, when your times when you're questioning, what sort of brings you back? What makes you sure that what you believe is true? In the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran, okay. What about it? Tell me a little bit about what is it about the Quran that makes it so real to you? Uh, I finish uh, the Quran one time. There's a lot of things that I understand about Quran. Okay. And do you read it in Arabic or do you read it in <laughs> English? Yeah, uh, I read it in Arabic. In Arabic, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And so tell me, I mean, so uh, Quran, right? I know a little bit about it, yeah. right? Um, what is What does Quran say? What is the way to get saved? What is the way to get right with God? Uh, it's uh, pray five times a day and just follow the rules. Yeah, follow the rules, right? Yeah. 
And what if what happens if you don't? Whatever you mean, you know, you 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 sort of. Well, personally, a person cannot uh, cannot judge you. It depends on your fear. So uh, it's uh, only God can judge you. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends how you <laughs> attract you. How you pray five times a day and follow the steps. There's no, there's not much to say. <laughs> Do you think that, uh, I know you have a lot of life ahead of you yet, but do you think at the end of your life, would you be going to heaven or hell, or do you know? Clearly, I don't know, but I, I, I say heaven. You hope, you hope for heaven. Yeah. 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 No, I'm a, so I'm a, this channel is Christian Street Conversation, so I'm a Christian. Do you, do you know much about Christianity? Yes, yes, I have a lot of friends who are Christian, so they're pretty good friends. They are pretty good friends. I know them. Christians have beautiful language, beautiful religion. And have you, have you, have they shared? Have they, your friends, have they shared a little bit about their faith with you? What is it the difference? No, personally, we don't speak about religion. You don't so, speak yeah. about religion. Yeah. Just a bunch of teenagers look at our religion. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. I can imagine that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this, right? Because uh, I think there might be. Um, there's one difference, right? One key difference between Islam and Christianity, and that is about Jesus Christ, right? Uh, you say that he's a prophet, he's yeah. a messenger. Yeah, yeah. I would say that he's the son of God, and uh, he's one of the three persons of the Trinity, uh, which which is kind of, we we know that those those are the main differences. But one one key thing, uh, what, which, which several Muslims that I speak to have yeah. told me that they never heard of is that uh, the reason Jesus is so important to Christianity is uh, because he's the way that we can get saved. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right. But see, uh, uh, according to the Quran, he is just a prophet. That's right, yeah. Yes, he's just a prophet. Yeah. yeah. So how do you, so going back to the Quran question, you know, so obviously the Quran was written, you know, almost 700 years yeah, yeah, yeah. or 600 years after, after the events of Christ. What makes you confident that the Quran got it right? And I don't know, because I'm young. You're so young, no worries, yeah, no worries, yeah. Sometimes I question the religion. Yeah. Would you, you, did you ever sort of, are you open to sort of finding out about other religions? Just yes, yes, yes. I'm pretty adventurous, so I like Christianity and I like other religions. Yeah, and has anyone, is, have, you, have you ever read the Bible, Bible for yourself? Have you read it for yourself or? Not yet, but my friends had. Your friends had, yeah, yes, yes. yeah, and uh, if if I give you the Bible for free, yeah. you can just read it for yourself. Would you ever do that? Uh, personally, my parents would not accept it. I don't know why. <laughs> you don't want to accept it. Uh, my parents wouldn't. Oh, your parents wouldn't accept it. Yeah. So if they found you with the Bible, you they, you might get into trouble. You might get into trouble. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I went to the pastors just preaching. Sometimes I found it on YouTube and start watching it. Yeah, there's a lot of good content on YouTube. Uh, which is the which pastors did you happen to come across? I don't know the names, but I just <laughs> listen to speech. speeches. Speeches, yeah. Yes, yeah. Do you do you listen to de debates debates between the Muslim and Christian? Yes, yes, I like them most. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you listen to Muhammad Hijab and uh, yes. <laughs> Jay Smith or anything yes, like? Smith. I know, I don't possibly you know, I don't about know about that, the yeah. names, but you know uh, some of these guys, yeah. yeah. Ali Dawa and all those yes. guys there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, really, I don't know much about the, the names, but I like the whole day that the Bible is very beautiful. Like. Okay. okay, great stuff. Well, thank you very much for listening and for speaking to me. It sounds like you are doing the right thing. I would just say to you, I would encourage you, you know, have your mind open, yeah, so you look into look all the things. Yeah. That's right, exactly. I mean, that's that's exactly you're doing the right thing. So keep searching for the, you know, ask the question, search for the truth. Like <laughs> we need more people like you who are open to, you know, having this discussion in a very respectful way. Way We don't have to call each other names or anything. We just have having a nice, a nice conversation. We are all humans. That's so right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, young man. Hopefully you can uh, pray for this young man and hopefully you're encouraged um, that if you are in this field of uh, apologetics to Muslims, um, you can see it is working, uh, especially uh, young people uh, who are uh, watching content on YouTube and other uh, social media platforms. Uh, those things that you're putting out to, to critique uh, 
uh, Islamic claims to defend Christian uh, Christian claims are working. Uh, those young men are taking notice. So please be encouraged. Uh, please continue to do this work and, and please pray for this young man. Well, if you're uh, not aware of some of these uh, controversies that I mentioned about um, uh, the, the holes in the Islamic narrative, I would encourage you to uh, have a look at some of the channels of the people that I've mentioned before. So that's again, Act 17 Apologetics, uh, David Wood's channel. Uh, that's uh, Fander Ministries uh, with a P-F-A-N-D-E-R Ministries. That's Jay Smith's ministry and uh, DCCI Ministries uh, by Hatun Tash and uh, Collins Ministry, Islam Critique. All of those channels are very good, very excellent channels. I definitely recommend you to uh, have a visit uh, learn more, uh, be educated, and, and take some of those, uh, some of those findings, some of those uh, understanding, the new knowledge that you gain from it, um, onto onto your conversations with your Muslim uh, friends.